Hello, Josh Stevens here, Head Geek at SolarWinds. Today I'm here to talk about Cisco IPSLA or IP service level agreements. Now Cisco IPSLA is a really cool technology because it allows you to have your routers and switches and other iOS devices run tests for you from their location on the network and then provide data on the results of those tests. So for instance in a traditional network management system you might have your NMS sending out polling requests or ping tests to different points in the network to test connectivity and latency. With IPSLA, you can have the routers send out tests from their locations in the network and then provide detailed statistics on the results. Now, the real advantage, though, of IPSLA is that most, some network management systems, like the Orion IPSLA manager, can actually pull that data from those devices into a central network management system to provide an easy-to-use view of performance from each point on your wide area network. Let me show you how the Orion IPSLA manager works. The first thing you'll notice when you pull up the Orion IPSLA manager is that it gives you an easy-to-use summary of the status of different types of operations around the network. Now, IPSLA lets you do tests of protocols and things like DHCP, HTTP protocols and applications, voice over IP, testing jitter, jitter latency and loss, uh, TCP operations, UDP echoes, DNS requests, really all the core technologies that you need to test from each of the sites on your network to be sure that your end users applications are up and running. Now you can actually drill down here in this application to see where you have specific issues either in the views like these or even on a network map by showing performance from San Francisco to Dublin in this case via this map. It also provides top 10 lists, and these are top 10 lists specific to the Orion IPSLA manager. So again here, these are top 10 lists of performance issues from around the network, not just from your main headquarters where your traditional network management system will be located. We also have broken out some of the more critical applications, like web applications and voice over IP applications, because in many cases, these applications are especially sensitive to network latency and have problems or, or excuse me, are, are especially um, problematic when it comes to issues with packet loss. And so we provide some specialized views that let you drill down within the application to see where there might be problems with this. And of course, anytime you see an issue, just drill down like the rest of Orion and we'll show you exactly what's going on there. Now all the gauges, of course, are for real-time data. Charts and graphs like you're used to in any other part of Orion are for history. And like the rest of Orion, you know, you can actually customize these views and integrate these types of views with other applications within Orion like NetFlow, uh, general performance and fault management data, and even application performance data from Orion APM. So again, today it's Josh Stevens here at SolarWinds talking to you about the brand new Orion IPSLA Manager and how you can leverage it to really understand uh, network performance and even network faults from a, from a distributed perspective of, from the location of all your routers and switches deployed throughout your network. Thanks a lot and have a great day.